can see the brood, you know, the larva. Those are the babies. Oh my gosh, wait, there's the queen. Okay guys, let's go mess with some bees today. We got quite a few calls to go through. Julie had to go to the dentist today, so she's not with me. It's just gonna be a solo trip. We gotta stop by Home Depot, but let's go ahead and see what the day has in store for us. We got, I think, one nearby. We're gonna go check out. I think it's just a swarm. That is what we're looking for. Oh, no thank you, no thank you. I don't want those. Enter job name, Beans. I have found that this is the best way to carry this many boxes. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can spot the bees. Maybe they're just, maybe they're just right here. Uh, they're probably in the back. We usually don't find them on these kind of trees, but let's see. Oh, I see him. All right. Yep. That is a swarm of bees, all right. So how long have you noticed them? We literally noticed it yesterday. She's allergic, and I've been, from what we've understood, our dog being kind of small and mostly black. Yeah. It could be a target for them. Less than ideal, yeah. yeah so. Okay. All right. He said go ahead. So now we can grab a ladder, a tall one. Gonna need a queen cage and a tool bag and a smoker. Better not break, you know. Come with me, my fellow bee lovers. Is that precarious? I don't know. Is that whoa? <laughs> it just shifted a little, but we're good. We're good. Give them a little smoke. Let's give you guys the best seat in the house. here and there's a few ways you can do this the easiest is to just give it a little shake oh hey guys camera got turned around don't you love my my face okay, here we go. sorry about that <laughs> look this bush is so tall, I could just rest the box on top of it. But, all right, let's see. Queen hunt commence. Let's get a little zoom. Maybe you guys will spot her before I do. I don't see her yet. She could be hiding underneath the bees there. But we're just going to set that right there. Maybe we can see her up here. Uh, I don't see her right there, but there's a clump. So let's, let's keep working. So I'll go ahead and get them off the branch completely. Then Hold the box up so the ones that want to fly in are going to come to the box. You see they're heading towards the box because most of the bees are already in there. So if the queen is still flying around, 
or flying around right now, she's going to come into the box. So we'll see. There's still a few on this branch here. It seems like the queen has to be in the box. So let's go ahead and lock them down. All right. Let's see. What do we got here? Oh, Queenie. You want to make this easy? Give them a little bump. Let me get my queen cage out of my pocket here. Here we go. Ready to go. She must be under the flap. What I'll do is just close up this side of the box and cut open the other side. That'll that'll give us the chance to expose her. Okay, I taped up that side. So let's slowly flip it over. I have to undo the tape on this side. The queen is fighting under flap. Let's see where is she. <coughs> She's, I think she's already made her way back down in the box. She's just being sneaky. Well, where are you, Queen? Five minutes later. Okay, so it's time to go back upstairs because I have not even caught a glimpse of her. And there's a little ball forming again. That's kind of normal. Let me set the camera down and give this thing a shake we'll check okay i just bumped the branch let's see if she's not up there she could be out flying so let's set the box up where if she is flying she'll come and land in here She, oh, I just saw her. Just She just dipped into that corner, finally. I think she just flew in. Okay, last I checked, she was in that corner. So, let's see if we can catch her. Watch, she'll probably run under the flap, and then I'll have to open up the other side. <laughs> Par for the course. Oh, there she is. That is the queen right there. Can you tell? That is her. So her job is to run and hide. So right now we're lucky because she's not dipping underneath the rest of the bees, but in a second here, she's going to peace out. So this is my chance to grab the queen cage, not lose track of her. <clears throat> Which I just turned away for a second. Okay, I see her. And she is, yep, she senses something's wrong. So she's gonna start running. And I lost track of her. A few moments later. Oh, there she is. Right there. Oh, she almost grabbed onto my finger. That would have been lucky. She's gonna fly. Okay, got her. Woo! <laughs> oh, it's about time. It is about friggin' time. Gotcha, Queenie. Grab a couple companions from the box. Okie doke. And careful. Watch your head, shoulders, knees, and toes. We don't need anybody getting hurt. All right. Got her. She's in there. She is obviously the bigger one running around she's off to the left she's running on the bottom now she's on the other side that is her right there all right I knew I'd find you Queenie it was just a matter of time now I'll close up the box make a little doorway ramp thing hold it up there for a little while let those ones collect in and then we're good and off to the next one give these guys a little bumpity bump 
and grab the box and hold it for a couple minutes. Pretty rudimentary, but it works. All right, we got that one wrapped up, ready to go into the truck. So let's head off to the next one. We are off to the next one. This is gonna be a valve box in La Jolla, another beautiful part of San Diego County. So let's see what's going on here. Now I think she said the bees are at the top of the driveway. Oh, I already see, I see a path, flight path. Yep, yep, and there they are. Just a favorite spot among bees. Oh, they are busy too. All right, let's go talk to the owner. Uh, this is quite the pad. I love Loja. This is my favorite part of San Diego County. So now what do you do? Do you take the hive to another, take it, the whole thing to another hive? Exactly, yeah. So I'll box them up. I'll put the queen in a little queen cage uh -huh. and then she'll go inside the box. I cut a little doorway. The bees will go into the box and then I'll take off with them. So here's my plan, y'all. Yes, I say y'all because I'm from the south. I'm just going to pick this whole thing up, flip it upside down, set it right here, and we'll see if we can do everything like that. You know what? We're not going to take the whole thing. I'm just going to take the lid because it looks like it's ready to go. Yeah, there we go. Precariously positioned, but look at this beautiful beehive. Wow. Yeah, they've been here a couple months. It's that beautiful yellow color to the honeycomb. Tells you it's not that old and it's not that young. It's right in between. So they probably moved in just a couple months ago, maybe three months. And it did look a little tricky to try and pull the whole box past whatever that thing is. Like a little... Wait, it said, it says it right there. Baird feeder. Feeder? Feeder? Anyway, let's go ahead and get to it. And I cannot believe I haven't said this yet, but please don't try this at home or anywhere else, at somebody else's home. Doesn't matter, don't try it. I know what I'm doing. I know that these bees are gonna be chilled just by looking at them, um, usually. And so don't try this. It's not something you should even attempt. You can see this sheet of comb kind of flopped over and a couple of the bees got angry, but didn't quite sting me. They were, they were almost on the offensive. But here we go, first sheet. You can see the brood, you know, the larva. Those are the babies. Oh my gosh, wait, there's the queen. Yeah. I was looking around. I wasn't even looking for the queen. Where, where's the camera? Okay, there we go. Oh, big mama. Hello, big mama. You know, contrast that to the first, first job I went to today. <laughs> this one was within seconds of opening the hive and the other one took forever. How funny. Okay, let's grab her. I've got the queen cage in my pocket. So first, let me grab the queen cage, set it right down here, and then grab Big Mama. I'm gonna get you. I got you. All right. Got you, Big Mama. And we'll get that sheet a little shake, get the bees off of it. Still some hanging on there. I like to just. We'll lick them off gently and now we need some volunteers to go in the cage oh this this comb did you see it it was starting to flop over so I gotta work quickly okay who wants to go with the queen I can feel feel her legs grabbing onto me okay we gotta this is a little Oh, oh, she got loose. Let me go ahead and just kind of 
gently put her in the cage, grab the other half. Got to deal with her in a second because this sheet, there we go, she's in there. The sheet is trying to fall over. So, don't want that to happen. So let's go ahead and deal with that. I just shimmy my fingers. And as I shimmy my fingers, I'm bumping bees out of the way so they're not getting pinched underneath. And they don't seem to mind that one bit. set it aside okay now we got the queen let's see if we can get a couple companions in here with her just keep her company there we go two is enough all right and she goes into the box all right now let's keep going that's all larva brood, babies that are waiting to hatch. There's a couple agitated bees hanging around my face. I'm going to give them a little smoke in the area. I'm probably talking too much, but you know. This queen is laying some eggs let me tell you goodness yeah this is the larva so this is bee babies right here all of that yep yeah there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a little nub of one right here. Oh my gosh, how long have they been building that, you think? This is about two to three months old. Let's grab the next sheet. This one looks pretty soft, so we'll go with this one right here. Shimmy the bees out of the way. You want to get the bees off of it first since it's so soft i don't want to hurt the bees as i'm trying to take it because what happens is you start to pull it a bunch of honey and nectar pours out of it and they get all gooped up and their wings get gooped up their abdomen gets covered up so they can't breathe that's how they breathe is through their abdomen there's not a lot of honey, no, but there's, there's definitely some, just a little bit. But this time of year, we gotta send it all with the bees because they don't have enough food where they're going. You gotta be really careful where you put your hands. You know what I'm saying? So Miss Lady Queen is in the box, right down there. Got a lot of bees in here already, but there's still a bunch that we have to accumulate. And there's a, one more sheet of comb left behind. So we'll grab them, give it a shake into the box, and then the rest will just come walking to the box. But we have to set it up in such a manner that it makes it really easy for them to figure it out. All right, give them a little shake. nudge these bees out of the way and they'll back up out of the comb which is trying to drink up as much as they can before the fun trip up north you see the reason that they're happily just running into the box is because yes the queen is in here but more importantly the bees inside they're fanning out their pheromone they're stopping they're pumping their wings and they're lifting their abdomen 
to send out that odor that says, hey, the queen is in here, everybody's in here, follow us. And they'll even just kind of point in that direction to just make it that much easier for the rest of the bees to understand what's going on and where to go. time-lapse to get some honey from right there look at this got a little chunk not much I'm not gonna take a huge bite just enough to get a good taste for what this is like mm. Mm. oh my gosh it's perfect it's perfect mm. oh my gosh that's like candy oh I want to eat more but I want to keep it for the bees well, that's so good. Mm -hmm. That's a sweet one. Anyway, okay, back to it. See this bee? You know what's kind of crazy is this whole time there's been a few bees that have like not fully committed to stinging me, but they're definitely bumping me, saying, hey, what are you doing? Um, but nobody is committed to stinging me. I see them even smacking the tripod. You know, because it's black. But as long as I stay nice and calm and smooth, just move smooth and slow, they seem to be staying pretty chill. Here, I moved the box over from there to here because this is where one of the entrances was. Another entrance is down there, but they all seem to be cooperating now going into the box. So I'll sit here and collect them for a while because there's still quite a few out and about we can see them flying around so we want to give all the bees a chance to get inside thanks for playing y'all I've still got a couple bees kind of chasing me around, but all good, no stings. There's still time though, because I still have to pack up, but this was a friendly one. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's going on at the next one. I have a feeling that it's probably just going to be an estimate, but we'll see. The next one is two meter box hives for the water district, for the 11 Ain water district, and uh, but you know what? First, to make a stop in Del Mar at one of my favoriteest places, Sea Surf. I'm gonna show you guys, this place is so tasty. Let's cover the bees up while I get something to eat. It's not much sun right now, but might as well. Oh, hello, deliciousness. I am coming to partake and your goods. Of the North Shore garlic shrimp. Okay. For here to go. For here. Oh shoot. Look at this. Yum. Well that was delicious. Okay, time to put the shade back in so we don't lose it on the freeway. Supposedly, supposedly we're here, but and there's not any bees in that meter box or that meter box. Maybe this one? I mean, the cone on top of the meter box is usually a dead giveaway. No, I don't see anything. No, just black widows, that's about it. Okay, well, there's supposed to be another one across from this one. So, oh yeah, okay, yep. They are in, what are they in? Let's see, in that valve box? Or we can, I think that's a valve box, a circular valve box, just like that one. All right, so we've got that one, and let's try to find the other one. 
Okay, so just up from that spot is, aha, uh -huh, yeah, that's a water district indicator. And yep, we got some bees. Where are they? They're down. Yep, okay, so there's the meter box that they're in. A little hard to see, I'm gonna go ahead and trim that back, but, but we found both of them. Okay, good. We're gonna have to rope off, tape off this area right here and get ourselves some bees. Okay, that should keep people from coming down the path. It's a tight little street. There's really nowhere to park without blocking the road. So I actually just had to move for some guy that went down that way. But I digress. I degrass. Get it? Degrass. <laughs> this is definitely a hive here. You know what? Maybe I don't have to cut. Maybe I can just stomp. Yeah, I'm gonna go that route. I'm gonna do the stomp. Pause for this guy. I had to move the truck again. Oh no, this is like a crustified hive. Kinda probably got water in it first. They don't exactly look like they're thriving. I'll show you. See, half their hive is just kind of crustified. Yeah, water, got water in it. It does look like it probably is a hive, so they're probably all collected over that way. And we'll see, I might have to put my suit on because there's a couple of them acting a little PO'd. But yeah, there's, there's all this crustified, nasty comb here. So hopefully they're okay and hopefully the queen's fine. It's grass. This grass is making me itchy on my arms and stuff. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh yeah. All sorts of funky. Oh, sorry bees. They're probably gonna sing me for that little maneuver. Oh my gosh, I see the queen. I'm gonna try and grab the camera in time. You see her? She's right there, she's about to dive. I lost track of her. She was right there. Okay, she took a dive, but hopefully you guys got to see her for a second there. No sting so far, that's good. Start pulling some. Comedy comb. Check, so maybe she ran over here. I don't know, I don't see her. Let's see, is she here? I don't see her on this sheet. Big cluster right there, but I can't tell if she's there. Or not. Oh, she is in the box. I just missed her. Oh my goodness, big mama, so beautiful. Woo! Ow, ow. Big mama! All right. Well, that is a healthy, healthy looking queen. And you know, that half of the hive. Look pretty good. So, that's awesome. I'm glad that they're doing well. They're gonna be just fine. We'll get them up to a better spot. All right, got her and a couple companions in there. And boom. All right. Okay, there we got her inside the box few bees in here but we've got a lot to collect and sorry ladies some of that comb kind of flopped over sorry all of it flopped over except for the grimy stuff so let's keep working so got that comb kind of out of the way and look at all these bees still in there all right ladies we're gonna get you we're gonna get you in the box don't worry all right let's see if we can get the bee march started 
Hopefully they're eager to get in the box and be with the queen. done here just got a few more collecting still got to do that one over there where is it yeah behind those bushes and oh my gosh my skin is like crawling itchy from this grass I don't know what it is about it but I think I can put my suit on for that or at least my sleeves because my arms are itching so bad right now there's the other beehive up there kind of where that sign is and I actually have to confirm that these bees are in an Olivenhain water box because if they're not, then I'm not allowed to mess with it. You can see I have my sleeves on, but I don't have a veil or anything on no. just because this grass is making me itchy. So let's go ahead and maybe we can just push back in there. I'm pretty sure it's in a valve box. Wait a second, maybe not. So here's a valve box, but there's also another meter box back there. So which are they in? They are in, I think the meter box, or sorry, the valve box. Why is it so hard to tell? Come on, go in and out of your entrance. Okay, yeah. So they're in this valve box. So I actually won't mess with it until I get approval because Likely it just belongs to somebody uh, on this property. So we'll wait and see what they say about that one. So with that said, I am done for the day. Just going to wrap this one up up here and then I'll be out of here. But let me tell you, this is busy for an October day and it was warm out. I'm sweating. So if you could imagine with my bee suit, I'd really be cooking. Fun two and three back there that makes for a pretty busy october day nice beautiful october day in san diego county this is just kind of what it's like here guys <laughs> sorry to make you jealous but it is nice out here this was a really nice day i love these days when it's just a bunch of small ones where i get to go to really beautiful parts of the county and where i don't have to wear a suit at all the entire day awesome stoked so this is our first time doing the vlog style, so if you guys have any comments, suggestions, let us know uh, in the comments. And yeah, we'll try to, to work around, uh, make it the most entertaining thing we can. And appreciate you guys watching, and yeah, look forward to some exciting ones coming soon. But uh, that's it for now. Save the bees, be kind, and we'll catch you on the next one.